Hey guys, what's up? John Madden, YouGoProBaseball.com, and I'm very happy right now to be here with Dr. Tom Hansen. Great, great guy uh, as far as talking about the mental game. He's got a bunch of great programs out there, and I'm happy for him to be here. Tom, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, great to have you here. Um, jump. Let's just jump right in. What does it mean to, uh, you hear a lot of coaches say, slow the game down. Uh -huh. Can you define or tell us a little bit about slowing the game down? Yeah, slowing the game down is big because what happens uh, to players, uh, is, I mean, if we go pull back to the big picture, if you want, like, the real answer to okay. <laughs> this, I could give you a couple little bits, but I like to give the context. The context and, like, why the mental game needs to be so um, trained and developed is that we're really not designed to play baseball. We are designed better for hunting and gathering out on the open plains. <laughs> And, and going against saber-toothed tigers maybe more than Detroit tigers. <laughs> and so we're very oriented toward threat. And, and when, when we feel threatened, we have what I call the inner umpire that's constantly evaluating right now, am I safe, am I safe, am I safe? And if, I, if I'm safe, then the game will seem slow. Everything is fine, I have full access to my talent, full access to my brain, all parts of my brain. And everything is cool. So if you see like a, you have a player like a Derek Jeter, so you just easy example, tends to play even better in the playoffs because he feels like he's safe. His inner umpire is saying, yeah, man, this is awesome. Right. <laughs> this is so much fun. I interviewed him and I asked him, like, how do you deal with pressure? And he's like, it's like Little League. It is so much fun. Whereas most players like free. And when you freeze like that, you lose access to your full brain. And so everything is going to speed up. No, it's just like, because you're, you're looking for where the danger is. And you're going to be here, 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 where the Jeter or the if safe inner umpire is just like, this is cool. And you're able to take in the full thing. It's like your camera, you know, your camera's right. taking this wide lens. And it's like, oh, you can take it all in and then focus when you need to because your inner umpire is saying, safe, man, this is cool. But if again, if it's saying danger, what happens is, or threat, it, it just sends control, it bypasses the big part of your brain, and it sends you to your remote, to your like reptilian brain, your uh, physical body brain, and it's all fight or flight, and that's all about survival. And so you stop breathing because if we're walking in the woods and we hear a noise, and I stop and stop breathing, and you keep going. <laughs> Guess who's gonna get eaten? Right. You know? So we've adapted to like there's threat. Freeze. Right. And that's great for being stalked. It's really bad for when you're hunting a pitch. Right. <laughs> you <know>? Right. Right. <laughs> you're hunting a pitch, it's a different issue. And so that's the last thing you want is to stop breathing and get tight and ready and everything goes to the big muscles when it's quite a fine motor skill. And so we're not designed for this. And so what I do really is when people say, well, what, what do you do? Uh, uh, it's like, well, I upgrade people's inner umpires. I help them say, oh, I guess I am safe. I guess my life is not on the line here with this 3-2 pitch. I would like something to happen that I want. I'm committed to, to executing. But you know what? In the big scheme of things, I'm, a, I'm OK. And you know that intellectually, but we're not dealing with your intellect. The inner, inner umpire makes this decision before you can rationalize it. So it's just short circuited. So, you know, your mom says, hey, Joe, just relax. <laughs> like, you can't because this inner umpire is just, it's a bypass. It never, that never registers. So, kind of a long answer, but I oh, think a pretty answer. good answer. That was, that was yeah. awesome. Um, now, what about playing big? What would you describe as playing big? Playing big is just the opposite. When you when you when you when you, when you feel safe, then your energy expands. To me, everything is energy. 
and it's just a great simplifier. If you look at how to improve your life, if you just think, well, what's the energy of that? Well, what's the energy of that food? Should I eat this apple? Which has better energy? You know, just a vibe. You know, it's easier to make a choice. And so we're all made of energy, and we have energy flowing around us. It's Einstein, so it's not like some out there new age stuff. This is like ancient stuff. They knew, and Einstein knew, E equals MC squared really is all about that everything is energy. So it's got a, there's a flow. And when you, when you feel like you're safe, you know, umpire says safe, you can expand. And you'd see, like when you see someone out on the mound, that's just got this, oh, that guy, he's dealing. You can almost see, if you look through those lens, you, you can see him glowing with an energy. And that's playing, it's like, wow, he's big, he's expanding. And when the inner umpire says danger, then we contract. And you can physically see a guy get smaller. It's like you're getting wrapped in like a piece of chicken, you know, yeah. at the grocery store. getting wrapped. And then it's alligator arms and, and stuff like that. Whereas, oh, I'm safe, boom, and that's playing big. So the, the key to it, if I had to say in a word, would be freedom. That's the real goal. At the one end of a totem pole, you have fear, and the other hand, you have freedom. And that's where it's beyond confidence. It's not just that I'm confident, it's I'm totally free to just play. So is that, Now, is that why, like, when someone's on a roll and he's doing well, it almost seems like it, you know, it keeps going. And, and on the other hand, when someone's in a slump, they just keep going the other way. Almost. Absolutely. Um, and is there... It, Let's say someone is in a slump, is there a way for them to get out of that cycle? For sure, for sure, because they're, they're in a slump because of what they're thinking now. They might be 0 for 10, but when I come up here to this box this time, the rule book doesn't say, and if someone is 0 for 10, they shall start <laughs> with two strikes. <laughs> it doesn't say that. Right. So the reason they're in a slump is because it's all stuck. And one of my other favorite ideas is an emotional digestive system, um, your EDS. <laughs> and with that, you need to realize that you can eat something, like you eat that apple, and then you digest it, and then come you eat energy, or you end the work, you eliminate it. Right. right? <laughs> we won't go into that anymore. <laughs> um, but unless you don't, and, and so if it sticks in there, you know, not only you get overweight, but it starts being. What should be eliminated gets reabsorbed into your bloodstream, and it's just not good. <laughs> and it clogs you up, and you start to feel sluggish and tired. And so it is with your emotional digestive system. You're having it bat, you pop up a good pitch to hit, and now that's like you just ingested that. Now, do you are you able to digest it and let it move through you, or does it stick in there? And then you have another at bat, and then it piles up. And now you've got this like emotional indigestion or emotional constipation of just like perfect example. I was talking to a guy today, first time I talked to this player, he's 15, high, pro, you know, projected to be a, a real player. Um, but for the first time in his life, he's really struggling. He says, Oh, he's one for eight. <laughs> and you still love him? <laughs> so. Um, he, he just say, okay, put yourself in one of these at-bats that you didn't like. Go back there, see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel whatever it is that you feel, felt. And then it comes up, it's like, ah, it just this feels frozen in my stomach. Well, that's an emotional block, that's emotional constipation, that's stuck. He's got these eight at-bats still in his system, even though he'll be walking up on Monday 0 for 0, you know, 0 for 0. And uh, free, other than what he's got when he brings with him the box <laughs> is, is, is what it is. It's empty and clear, uh, except for what he brings with it. And he'll be, had we not talked today, I would say he would go Monday like Pigpen, you remember from the Peanuts? Oh, yeah. yeah Charlie yeah, Brown. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere he goes, there's this dirt. <laughs> Even when he's out skating, you know, there's this dirt. How's he kicking up dirt on ice? And, but we're all that way with our energy fields and he's bringing just this load of crap if I can say that <laughs> he's bringing that into the box with him and so that has to get eliminated um, in order to do that and it's a common vernacular now ever since uh, Ken Revis and I wrote Heads Up Baseball to say well flush it like you need to 
toilet. We talk about the area behind the mound, for example, as a toilet, where if you're losing it, you know, you get a yellow light and you're, you're upset about something, go behind and there, imagine there's a toilet and flush it. And that's great. And <laughs> to me, it's just like, well, in order to flush it, I have to get it into the toilet, you know? Right, right. <laughs> so, um, you know, I have a technique um, that has quadrupled my ability to help players. I don't want to go into it now, you know, it's not quite the right place to, to teach it. But I teach it in my one-on-one -on -one course in my academy. It's free. So you guys, just will set them up here with access to it. Rather than my trying to do it now, I'd rather right. just talk. They can do it for free in the first day of awesome. this one-on-one -on -one course. They just click whatever, wherever the link is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a right Brady Bunch thing. Um, <laughs> and um, go do it right now because it's, I explain this in more detail, the emotional digestive system, and then we do an exercise to help clean them out of a bad and bad, like their worst failure. Imagine being able to, to clean that out. I have a, you see a box there called Emolax. <laughs> it uh, removes emotional constipation fast. <laughs> nice. And, and it's just that. It's just like, oh, you know, I hadn't thought about that, but that's kind of relate to that feeling of, oh, if I could just move that out. And people are saying, hey, just let it go. You know, <laughs> you can't do it. Right. So, so we talk, you talked a little bit about uh, slowing the game down, uh, playing big, you talked a little bit about confidence. Uh, and then you talk about uh, the one-on-one -on -one training system, about flushing it. Tell us a little bit more about your program and how it all ties together and how people can get a hold of it. Yeah, right on. Okay, so it's a Play Big Academy where we teach people to, to close their performance gap. The performance gap is how good you know you can play and how good you're actually playing. You, everyone has some gap, except some days, but if, you, if you're playing close to it, the game is to how can consistently can you do it, and can you then expand this? But it's, most guys would be just happy to play as well as they know they can. You know, it's like oh, I rake in the cage. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so um, this one-on-one course is free. It's all set up. You, when you click over, you'll see it's like oh, okay. Well, here's a whole curriculum. There's one-on-one, and then I've got this book, Play Big. Um, Great book. Great thank book. you. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. It's a fictional story, as you know, of a guy who's struggling. And then he meets a coach, and it's like at a game like here. It's actually set on my home Legion field, and every guy in it is a guy I played with, <laughs> um, either in high school or college. Um, and it's just that the story unfolds. He's trying to win this championship series while he's learning these mental games. It's really fun. Uh, my favorite comment um, is a, a, parent, a dad came up to me at the National Convention. It was a, one as uh, best in show at the ABCA. Awesome. Um, convention and the dad said well you're my wife's favorite author <laughs> really <laughs> tops Danielle Steele <laughs> did she cry at the end of the book or something uh, I said no it was like because of the difference the book is made for our nine year old son oh wow that's great so, that's great to hear because yeah. it's really the Play Big Academy is about uh, great baseball great fun and great life because all the stuff I'm talking about here, I teach to executives. I, I, three mornings this past week, I was at breakfast with the CEO group, you know, and teaching them the same stuff. And it all is just completely applies to having a great life. And yes, it's great to shorten your hand path and get the hit, and, the, and that's cool. And you do learn stuff that you learn about learning, but with the Playbook Academy, you learn stuff that directly applies. You take it, use it that day in the batting cage, the next day on your math test. Right. You know, it's just like, oh, if I can see myself as safe, inner umpire, then I can think. Whereas we all gone blank on a test, it's like four plus three. Ah, you know, why can't I get at it? Well, because four plus three is up here, and your inner umpire is saying, I'm not safe, so you don't have access to it. So it's all directly applicable. So you. You um, take this 101 course, then you get this, the book, Play Big, it's like the textbook for the next courses. Then I've got um, an, a confidence training, it's a DVD and a workbook that teaches exactly what to do on the field between pitches to generate confidence from nothing. You mentioned before about a guy, well, you know, can you, how do you get out of a slump? Well, this teaches you that. Nice. You know, you need to be able to generate confidence from nothing 
rather than being a victim. Most most players are here, and baseball's here, and baseball goes, oh yeah, and then baseball goes down. Oh, I'm I'm horrible. Oh, I'm the man. Oh, I'm horrible. And this is about oh changing it around. That oh I'm going to choose how I'm going to be, and then bring baseball, you know, be into the driver's seat instead of baseballs driving. I'm having a cartoon made right now where baseball is driving and the guy's unhappy sitting next to him. Oh, and then cool. in the next panel, it's like the guy's driving and the baseball. He's happy too. The baseball doesn't care. <laughs> you know? Right. right on. So then I, the, the, uh, two more things that I'm just jazzed about. One is my mental game profile, play big mental game profile. And it takes about 15, 20 minutes. I've thought of calling it a mental game showcase. Because there you go, you'd come here and get measured, right? How hard does he throw? Exit speed, whatever you in. This measures your mental game, and it says, this is your dream? Well, your mental game is like right here, and you really can't run Division One baseball as a computer program, with, you know, metaphorically, with the, your operating system, you know? And we can measure it, instead of just hoping for the best. You can mathematically say, well, here's where you're good, Here's where you're not. Here's what you need to work on. It's ninja. <laughs> I tell you, it is very, very powerful. And then the last piece of this, um, you know, sort of first semester, if you will, in the Play Big Academy is this 201 course that takes uh, what you learn. Well, it, it really deals with your belief system because you've got with inner umpire. It's it's advanced inner umpire training. Okay. I can leave it at that because that's because I've said that. So we're dealing. I've explained what that is. Um, it's about changing your belief system. So because it's great if you can take a breath and you can visualize. Those are good tools. But wouldn't it be great if you just thought it was fun <laughs> to be there and it wasn't so much about the breath there? You do that, but you don't need it so much because you're already breathing fine. You're not perceiving a threat. Right. So that's the, the big thing with that 201. It's a, to me, the most powerful training course I've seen in all of baseball. That's great. And I've, I've got a hold of some of it, and I love every bit of it, and it's, and it's helped a lot. Um, what can a guy do? What, can we leave a link here or something? Absolutely. And, and, you leave a link, yeah. and boom, it gets started with the, with the 101. It's free. Uh, no, nothing to lose, um, but a huge thing to gain. I've got buddies that are saying, what are you doing? teaching that and then in day two and you know so day one is the emo lax <laughs> day two is the confidence generator and you, you learn to generate confidence from nothing you know and day three is the seven mindset death traps <laughs> so just when it was sounding easy on day one and two there's like oh my gosh there's these mindset death traps they're not really they, but they kill careers right you know? They kill careers, uh, and it's like, oh man, do I think that way? And most people are stuck in it. Day four is the secret sauce. It's like the one idea, and I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> uh, it's the one idea that brings it all together, that really makes it all possible. So you just cannot find out how good a player you can be if you don't have a great mental game. And all this stuff is very uh, simple for coaches. I feel like that's my job is to take the, all the mental game and simplify it. You know, I've got my, even my ABCs, like in my book, it's like, wow, that's really simple. But to me, it's like almost elegantly simple <laughs> because it's like, well, there's a lot in that. And uh, I could go on with that, but, but I, I teach it, I'm big on systems. You gotta have a system, it's like, hey, I could, we, I could say, hey, so how about we break into first and thirds? And you could teach how you do first and thirds, right? right. And you could teach how you teach hitting. Got a system for that. You got a system for everything. Oh, the mental game's 80%. Oh, what's your mental game system? <laughs> well, we read quotes. You know, yeah. that's like level one is quotes. <laughs> and and go out there and relax. <laughs> and level two is okay. To me, it's like heads up baseball where there's like have a routine, visualize um, goals, and they're actually doing stuff. But now level three is one where you measure it. You just bring in the measurement, it changes everything. And um, and two is then this emo lax, this technique that I, where everything is energy, so I, I have a technique to help flush your energy system and it's you know, it's a whole level beyond where I think almost anyone else is, <laughs> if I can say that. Tom, 
thank you so much for being here. Thank mm -hmm. you for doing yeah, what you're, you're doing. Welcome. And that was great. That's I fun. appreciate it. Uh, guys, please go check out the programs. It's, in my opinion, a must-have for you guys. So I'll leave the link down here. Tom, thanks again. Yeah, you're if you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at YouGoProBaseball.com.